I'm in a very important place, very interesting place as well. And this is historically a very significant place for SJSU. This is our team submitting our Compi 272 lab. Our team comprises of myself, Divya, Arkawar, Para, Rana, Surbi, and Arun. So let me tell you something about this place, this historically significant place. San Jose State University in the year 2005 decided to build a 22 foot high statue in honor of its students at the Olympics. But you can see there's a free space left here for Peter Norman who finished second in the same race. And that's because Peter Norman wished to not be a part of this monument as he wanted to leave his space open to the students of this university to put themselves with Tommy Smith and John Carlos and stand with them. The entire campus at SJSU is littered with monuments such as this. And today we'll be looking at some of them and going through some of their histories. The next monument we'll be looking at is the MLK library that SJSU has. So on my right, you can see the MLK Library, which was founded in August of 2003. Uh, it was a joint collaborative effort between the San Jose State University and the San Jose Public Library System. It is open to both uh, SGSU students and the general public. On a typical day, you can find uh, students lugging around their backpacks and uh, assembling in the uh, study rooms for study sessions. And you can see the general public accessing computers uh, which were built built for them, and uh, it uh, it it houses over 1.6 million volumes of books from uh, across all genres of literature and research. And uh, did we tell you that this building has nine floors? as well as international students. You, uh, standing here, you are surrounded by cultures uh, all of, from all over the world, like, like Indian, uh, French, Spanish, and not just the serious stuff. You will find a lot of fun stuff here too. Like I just found my favorite. This library has eight floors. The first three floors are for public to work on systems, read and just have a good time. The rest of the floors are reserved for SJSU students. They work on their assignments, take, taking notes, uh, having group meetings. And I personally spent at least three hours a, uh, daily here. stepped up and 
abolish the tool so that the farmers will not be hurt again. I hope you guys had fun as we have given the tour of our school. So to add more fun to it, I would like to brief you all about our project as we have made individual websites on which we are selling various kind of products like books, videos, audios, cars, Game of Thrones merchandise and also you can travel to Mars. So we thought we can build a marketplace where you can buy every product. That's why we are building a marketplace. Also we are integrating some cool features like Facebook integration. Wait, I'm not gonna tell everything here. So come join us and then we just watch. You can come to Mars and enjoy with us. Professor Richard Singh, this is our submission for Compute 272 Lab. This is our team and this is Bob the Drone. So hey, this is Arun. Uh, today I'm going to explain about our term project and the features we are going to build and the DB schema for it. So I'm going to start with the DB schema. So this is how DB schema looks in the notebook. So we have two main tables, one for user and one for products. So user will have all the user specific details and the products will have all the product specific details. We are going to have a common database for all the six websites. So we are going to ent enter all the product details into this products. And we have a order table to keep track of the orders each user makes so it's so we are going to use the ids for each of these as a primary key and we are going to have uh, foreign key references for each and so each will, uh, each user when he makes an order it will come to the orders table and here one order can have multiple products so we have a order to product mapping table and each product can have a reviews and ratings also so we have a uh, reference between reviews and table uh, with the products table too. So this is how our uh, DB schema overall looks. So let me explain the features that we are going to build. So let me start with the basic expectations of this project and then I will explain the extra features that we are going to build. So the first expectation is to build a main UI which has all the products and we are able to give a rating and rating and the system. And we are going to have a common product page for all the six websites. And we are going to have all the products in the database. So we are not going to build uh, 100 products for 100 pages. It's going to be one page which takes a product ID as a parameter so that it's scalable. If you want to add more products, you just insert a row in the DB and it will be automatically built for you. So we have written UI snippets for all of that, which will be commonly reusable. And the other expectation is to build top 5 visited and top 5 ordered and top 5 ratings. We are going to add some more uh, criteria for this also. And we have a, a common uh, user creation for the marketplace so that uh, if a user registers, he will be able to uh, order from all the six websites. And now coming to the extra part, uh, we are going to have a, a filtering and searching mechanism for the products like you see in Amazon. And that will be completely based on the JSON model. So we are going to uh, export our complete database into a JSON and use that uh, for filtering using JavaScript. So if you ask for the products between the price range from 100 to 200, it will list you only those products. So something like that. And we have a keywords mapping with each product. So we'll be able to filter based on that also. And the next cool feature we are going to build is the recommendations so it's basically the recommendations that you see in amazon so if you're seeing a product we will show you a recommendation based on two one is user based and one is views based so user based will be your previous orders we will tell you uh, what are products you previously ordered and the views will be uh, your recently viewed products and the most top rated products we will recommend all of those to you and one more additional cool feature that we are planning to build is the when you add a product to the cart we will tell you uh, the previous users who ordered this product ordered that product also together. So if you're buying a laptop, we will tell you you buy a mouse also together because previously many people bought it together. So that's how we are planning to build a recommendation. And one more uh, integration is we are going to do Facebook and Google and Twitter integration. And Facebook integration is not just for sign up. Uh, we are planning to get your friend list from the phaser, uh, Facebook and use that for recommendation. So if I am viewing the product, it will tell me my friends ordered this uh, product based on the Facebook. And we are going to have like and comment for each of the products. And we are even planning to integrate Google and Twitter also. And the final part is the cart and the wish list. So it's what you find in every e-commerce website. So you can order, uh, you can add your products to the wish list and come back anytime and then later add it to cart. Or you can add it, add it directly to the cart. You can add any number of products and you can add and remove uh, any number of products from the cart at any point of time. So, and we are not going to process the any orders, I mean, as in payments. So it's just going to be a button which will say, uh, thank you for your order and it will send you an email confirmation. 
that's all we are planning.